was a beauty to poke your primary here. Primary to deliver you are weak. Uh, nine battle and fella against waffles. I'm gonna accept the challenge now because he's been waiting. Uh, but we're gonna get into this. Um, we pretty much need to win this match. This is this is the most important match of the season for us right now. Because if we don't win this match, uh, we don't make playoffs. Essentially. If we don't win this match, there's a good chance we won't make playoffs. Because we are tied in record. I am ahead currently by differential. So, if I were to win this match, then I would uh, pull for potentially far enough ahead to beat him overall for the season. So... Uh, that's kind of a thing, so we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do our best in this one. Alright, we're gonna see. He does bring the Suicune, which I predicted him to bring. I knew he was gonna bring it. There's almost no reason why he wouldn't. So let's look, look, look at this. He brought the... I'm glad he didn't bring the Lapras. That makes me really kind of happy. Uh, but he brought the... He didn't bring the Mew either. He brought the... He didn't bring the Mega Lopite? Oh, Crow Hayden brings two fast as mods. He brought Darmanitan, Suicune, brought us Cavalier, Tangela, Dragon, and Rhydon. So that's, de that's definitely very far off of what I thought he was going to bring. I mean, obviously I'm prepared for all of it, so I'm not too worried. But damn, that's, that's kind of scary. So, I, I think... Let's see how Jolteon does as a lead. Did I not change it? Hold on, wait, wait, wrong team. Okay, my bad. I need to go ahead and, uh, what's that? I loser. The Asian man bear. <sighs> Whoops. That was embarrassing. Game, select the team, and oh, it auto selected Jazzy's team for next week. My bad. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to send him the challenge now. Alright, we have the right team. So again, I'm still looking, still here looking at, uh, Potential lead of Jolteon. Uh, it doesn't really hurt me in this situation. Um, uh, actually, Volcano does a really good job of lead this week as well. Like, I mean, if, he lead, if he loses out speaking, it kind of walls me, but. Things that come from that. Shaman is also a really good lead in this one as well. I pretty much hit everything on my opponent's team pretty hard except the Drudagon. I think my safe lead is probably. I think my safe lead is Darmit. or is uh, Terrakian, kind of. Who do I think he's gonna lead with? I think he might lead with Darmanitan. So I think he leads with our mana time. Do I go to Rakion, or do I go? Um, I actually lose nothing by leading with um. I lose nothing by leading with Terrakion. He leads with the. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. That's actually kind of decent. He doesn't. He doesn't really have anything that really wants to 
come in on a close combat? Can he? Oh, he can one shot an earth type though. If he's, yeah, if he's adamant, even with like very little attack and defense, he can one shot me. But I can't one shot him, so that's a problem. So I think in this situation, I have to go immediately. Immediately. How does Shaman take an earthquake? Hydrangea, how do you take an earthquake? Eighteen to twenty-two. I mean, he has nothing that can one-shot me. All right. Let's let's also look at um. Latios. Obviously, you won't take an earthquake, but how will you take a myth corner? He has it. He goes for it. That's fine. I think Hydrange is my safest bet because I do have. He sets up his rocks right up. Turn one, okay. So I could have got a close combat off, but that's fine. Now, in the scenario, do I try to make these predictions early on? This thing outspeeds 95% of his team. How much does Shaman do with Earth power? 36 to 43%. I can outco with Sea Flare. If he goes out into Darmanitan here, we're, we're putting ourselves in a fantastic position. How does Darmanitan take a Sea Flare? Uh, 41 to 48%, so it does take it. So I'm going to go for the Earth Power. Oh, he stayed in! Uh-oh. Metal Burst. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I will I'll say that. That was kind of a nice play. I like that. That really kind of sucks, too. Because I can't switch Shaman out now. That really kind of sucks. I need this. I needed this shaman. I needed this shaman for his uh, Suicune. I really needed this shaman for the Suicune. Oh man. Oh fuck, dude. That's really bad. It's actually really, really bad for us. Oh man. I mean, Earth Power is my safest place still right now, so I'm gonna go for that. Oh, oh that was really really bad. Oh, that's really bad. I'm going to tangle up. How well did he take that? Took only eleven percent from that. He's fully specially defensive. Yeah. All right, give me, give me a little bit, cause I'm in the middle of a, a thing. I'm in a bad situation. I just kind of just have to like HP. I kind of have to HP fire. I, like, there's no point in saving this thing. So he's just gonna giga drain me, get a little bit of damage off. He's actually not gonna kill me there. I'm just gonna go for another giga drain, or HP fire. I mean, get off as much damage on this thing as I can. <clears throat> and he's just gonna take out Shaman early on. That's really really bad for me. Um, so if he's fully specially defensive, though, what do I lose going out into this is what Tony Stark? The turn does kill, so I'm just gonna go out into Tony. It really doesn't matter what he does. I'm just gonna go knock off kill. No, it doesn't. I'm gonna go for the turn. I have no reason not to. Going for the U-turn. I lose nothing by this. I gain a little momentum. I 
And I had to answer these. Alright, so he either has to stay and lose his Tangela early on, or he has, or he's gonna switch and uh, give me some form of momentum. He's gonna give me the momentum here. I'm gonna go for the U-turn. Ooh, that did way more than I thought it would. I pretty much just go into anything that can outspeed this thing. He's not, like, defensive at all. Is he not wearing a video light? So he... He's non-EV light max HP. That's kind of different. That's actually really interesting. I'm gonna go here out into Ohm Boy. Pretty sure I'm gonna go out into Ohm Boy. Because once my flame ward pops, yeah, once my flame ward pops, I can kill him with a shadow ball, and once my flame ward pops, I will outspeed the entirety of his team. So that is the plan. Flame ward is popping. I'm gonna go for the shadow ball. No reason not to. It's my best play. Kind of sucks that my uh, that shadow ball is uh, was brought more or less for the mute. I know he didn't bring it, kind of stinks, but you know, whatever. What else? So we're tied. We're tied now. Uh, now I can freely go for Vol switches, which is kind of nice. Um, I do outspeed everything on this team, even if he has a scarfed Armana's hand. I do outspeed it because uh, the Flame Orb uh, Quick Feet combination provides me basically an illegitimate choice scarf, so that's really kind of decent. So I can Volt Switch freely on whatever he brings in. There's also a point in the match that I would like to Thunder Wave the Darmanitan because it is his other fastest mod. Alright, I have no reason not to uh, Volt Switch. That'll help me figure out his set. So we'll pull up this Cavalier. Right, so that does 27.8%. Uh, so he's not Assault Fester. Wait, maybe Max HP is. No, no HP Assault Vest. He could be no HP Assault Vest. Now, what do I want to go out into that might want to take this hit? He goes for Troll Run. You're not the option. Uh, I might just meet you guys there. What? I might just meet y'all there. Okay. Even if you draw hunt and crits me, there's nothing you can do about it. 
I am going to go out into Volcania. Yum. I'm going to eat that. Now I'm free to click Flamethrower. Now that's beautiful. versus a sweet one. I'm really thinking this one through. Full switch does about half. And I can go out to something else and hit him. And then Drakion. Can you do you can't even do at least half. That sucks. Just gonna click the flame throw no. I don't want to pull the risky double. I'm gonna go. For the, I don't want to pull the risky double. It's too early in the match to go for the risky doubles. So we go out of this thing. Can you just now you burn. Uh, that did about thirteen percent to the Suicune. So that means he's special defensive Suicune. So we are fucked. He is especially defensive, calm, sweet. Oh, he's calm, sweet. <laughs> uh, wait, does that mean Terrakion can at least 2 hit KO this thing? Still can't 2 hit KO. Uh, HP five. This cat will do, and I have other things that will hit it as well. Uh, this thing's down pretty low, but it does have regenerate, which I can, but I can still find a way to kill because it's especially defensive. I might have dark on. You have ice beam. Uh, maybe I'll predict the switch. Go for a skull, and I can get some HP back. What's my heart is hitting me against this thing? Focus Blast. So I'm banking on Focus Blast taking that. I'm gonna go for Sludge Wave though. Goes for Toxic, okay. So that's fine. If I had switched, someone else would have caught a Toxic, so I'm kinda glad I didn't. I don't wanna get a Poison on this thing. And then go out to someone who can handle it more appropriately. I'm in the mindset right now where. where Volcano pretty much has to die. Okay, he just goes for a mirror coat. Okay. He's fully especially defensive. Watch this thing too. 37 to 43. Alright, that's fine. Right. He's gonna go for the mirror coat this turn, so I'm gonna double out into scissor so I can knock this thing off. Leftovers off. Rachel! You're really loud! You're louder than me! Mm. 
no one can knock off because it's my safest play. If it switches into our mana's hand, it loses a scar for a fan. If it switches into anything, it loses its item. And uh, he stays and he loses his leftovers, which is really, really good. And the next turn, I can U-turn. I brought this thing in. So it's going to lose. It's going to lose its lumbar. Now. I got a scissor. So I'm going to start. Is there a way in the universe that you cannot speed this thing? If he was max speed adamant, he would outspeed us. So I don't like that. Because he potentially could do that. How much did that do? Knock off. That did 40%. That's that's feasible for that amount of damage. Do I stay in and risk the fact that he'd be speed invested? Because if he is speed invested, then he has a chance to outspeed us. We go for the U-turn. He's not speed invested. That's good. So this is where I go into my physically defensive Lati Oats. Great. Fire Punch, we eat that. Sheer Force is not going to be able to um, harm us with it. So that's good. Now I can go for the safe play of the Ice Beam. He might Sucker Punch here, but I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. Just going to go for the Ice Beam. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yep, goes for the Sucker Punch, I'm gonna Ice Beam, hit that thing and take out, so... <sighs> this match is like very, very crucial right now. I'm gonna pull up actually, see how crucial it is, how close we actually are in the division. If I had won last week, then this wouldn't be as big a deal. You know, we are two differential points away, so if he wins 1-0 today, we'll be top. We'll be tied in differential, and he'll be ahead in record. So then he would have to lose. He would have to lose in week ten against Toby. And I would have to win against uh, Jazzy. We're in a bad spot. Oh, it's our man at ten. This thing outspeeds me in every universe. It's probably going for a U-turn. Do I have a chance to live a U-turn? I don't remember how much they did last time. Man, it's on choice scar. U-turn, 37 to 44%. That's a roll. He's jolly. <sighs> He's jolly scar, it's a roll. I'm gonna click cover. We had a chance and we didn't get it. Shit. And now we get the initiative. Whatever he brings in, we know. We can bring something in that can handle it a little better. So you can still sleep. This match is not going well. He's definitely playing a lot better than he did last time. Both of his walls right now are especially defensive, so that's kind of a good thing for, for what we have remaining between Terrakion and Scizor. Terrakion on speed with the remainder of his team can do really big, big, big damage to a lot of the members of his team. Although I just realized this, he just whittled down all of my fire, my fire type coverage moves. I have none left for that uh, Scavalier. He's gonna go out into a scavalier, that's what I thought. 
Alright, so say he's an S-Cavalier. Say he's a no HP S-Cavalier. With a uh, assault vest. Say we go out into... I know we can kill him. I'll go for the knockoff. Get rid of his assault vest. Melty on comes and kills him. Let me kill this bitch. <clears throat> I need to save this for that, though. Because I feel like. Let me see Tangela. Let me see especially defensive EV Light Tangela again. He's doing 50 to 59 percent to that thing, so we can take it out. Let's go back to the S Cavalier scenario as well. We get S Cavalier again. No HP. That's what you determine at this point. Say Terrakion. Oh, it's a roll. We can actually potentially kill him with close combat. And he would kill us, but we have to. Do we have to risk it? Do we have to risk the roll? That's my question. We have to risk it. We actually have to risk it. And it sucks. But I'm clicking close combat. We have to risk the roll here. No! Oh, we got the... Do we get low roll? Do we actually get a low roll? We got the low... Oh, he did have HP investment, but how? There's no way he had HP investment. He had to. He would have max HP, but it didn't, didn't come into play earlier. Is he not AV? This match has just been a shit show. I've been off my game lately. Yeah, we deserve we deserve to not lose, not go to playoffs after this match. We do we definitely deserve to not make playoffs after this. <sighs> He's gonna swap out actually, go into his sweep now. I'm okay with that. So I am gonna go for a roost. While he's still asleep. You sleep talk? It's fine. I'm gonna go for a roost. I'm gonna U turn this turn. Uh, Jolteon. I'm free to click bolt switch. Can Jolteon kill at this range? Yeah, I kill him in this range. I'm gonna click bolt switch. He's gonna be smart and go out into his S Cavalier. I should click Shadow Ball. Oh, uh, he can just go out into our mana tank here. And just ruin my life. But wait, wait, wait. Let's think about this. Let's think about the scenarios here. I have HP grab. I have no way of beating the tangle. <sighs> Damn it! I should have gone for the shadow ball. I knew he was probably gonna switch out. Why did I not go for the shadow ball? Why did I not go for the shadow ball? I predicted that in my head. I predicted he was gonna use the Escavalier as as a death fodder. Why did I not predict that?
Okay, so let's take that defensive investment for now. Why? I'm trying to think of how I can do this. First of all, let me... Which one has a chance to kill from this range? We die a thousand times over here, but if there's nothing we can do, we lose. We lo if I go out into Jolton, I'm gonna be sack Jolton. Yes, obviously Tony Stark could could essentially beat the Suicune and beat the Tangle, but can't beat the Darmanitan. Full Punch only does 27 to 32 percent. There's no way he'd be down that low after one Flare Blitz to a Jolteon that would be down at 20 some percent. So. I'm going to go for the bullet punch. Yeah, it's going to do 26.3%. It's actually the low roll. Okay. He's going to fire punch. That's even smarter. So he doesn't take any recoil. Now, Jolteon. I know you can kill a Darmanitan. You actually can't kill a Darmanitan. Okay. Whatever. I'm just going to go for the full switch. It's my strongest move against him right now. If I get a crit, I can kill it. Lessen the differential. Nope. I'm just gonna fire a punch to the next dimension. We lose the guy. And that's our season. That is potentially our season right there. He has to unless he loses to Alright, like let me Let me try to calculate this. Hold on. So he goes up to plus three, I go down to minus one. So that means he has to lose to Toby at least two. No, right. What? You mean a girl? Girl, I only Shut know. up! Can, or, sorry, I, I didn't show myself. Shut up. Can you wait? I don't care. Me too, though. I don't give a shit. Can you wait? I'm in the middle of something. He has to lose to Toby. Um, he has to lose to Toby, and I have to beat Jazzy for a chance to win, for a chance to still make the playoffs. Cause then I can still pull. I can still pull it off. It's not impossible. But next week matters more than anything right now. Next week is literally everything right now. Did he beat Toby last time? He did beat Toby last time. He did beat Toby last time, so I'm not holding out too much hope, but there's always a chance. Well, I mean, we tried. We gave it, the, we gave it our all, guys. What can I say? I mean, if we don't make playoffs, I still say uh, we had a very, very impressive run this season. So uh, I'm going to get out of here. Um, Till next time, guys, I'm Poker Primer signing off.